Black female leadership is quite common in America, and I mean that from a political standpoint. Some are former mayors like Monique Owen out of East Point, Michigan, and Lori Lightfoot of Chicago. Some are current district attorneys like Fannie Willis out in Fulton County, Georgia. But then we have some current mayors like Latoya Cantrell in New Orleans and Tiffany Henyard. Both of these mayors have scandals, sex scandals, booty clap sounds. Both of these ladies have been looked at by the feds, but I want to deal with Tiffany Henyard because she's the extreme example. All of these women are members of the Democratic Party, but I want to focus now on Tiffany Henyard exactly. 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 Rewind! <laughs> Tiffany Henyard is most likely the worst mayor of all time. There are many things she has done in the village of Dalton that you already know about. It's went worldwide. She's been corrupt. She's fired people. She's stolen money. She's hired felons to support her. Andrew Holmes has a assault of that. You know what I'm talking about? Everything that you can criticize her on, she's done wrong. And I would be here all day talking about all the things she does wrong. But she has a way of responding to this. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. All the stuff that y'all did to get people to come to our community, to just diss and down our community. Shame on y'all. So you see, you're dealing with a black woman in power. And this is how you talk to me. This is how you treat me. I'm a black woman. You guys attack a black woman, a single mother. Now, this is interesting because when she became mayor of the city or the town, she spoke as if she was equal to a man. She was accountable as an adult. She could do the job as an adult. But once she shows the level of incompetence, now we're dealing with ad hominems. Well, you're attacking me. I'm a black single mother. In other words, you need to stop doing that behavior because I'm a minority. When the reality is her being a woman or her being a single mom or her being black has nothing to do with the level of incompetence. It wouldn't matter if she was yellow. It wouldn't matter if she was orange, but that's the crutch that they want to basically use so that whites on the other side or anybody on the other side of the opposition can't criticize them. But this is not the only case with Tiffany Hingard, Latoya Cantrell, Fannie Willis, or anybody else that's a black female Democrat. We're now seeing this with Kamala Harris. Fast forward! Now, CNN had an interesting show the other day, and they had some Republicans, and then they had some Democrats on there. This is called the Situation Room, okay? And there was a guy by the name of Matt Mowers, all right? He's going to lay out an argument about Biden and Kamala Harris, and this is what he's going to say. Running mate, given all the things she criticized Joe Biden about, have you looked at what J.D. Vance has said about Donald Trump? <laughs> like, it just makes absolutely no consistent sense what Donald Trump said there. Kind of said, J.D. Vance said that uh, Trump was America's Hitler. Doesn't get more. Uh, yeah, and yet, and yet yeah, he picked, picked him. him. So, like, <laughs> it's not, I, I just don't understand what metric he's using. I'll just yeah. say, I don't think the campaign has to go anywhere near any of that. Right? This is, in a lot of ways, the same campaign it was last week. It comes down to three eyes. Immigration, inflation, and competence. You have Kamala Harris, who's the deciding vote for the Inflation Reduction Act that actually spent trillions of dollars causing inflation. She was the b b Biden's border czar. We've had record number of border crossings. And competence, she stood side by side with Joe Biden on every single foreign policy disaster we've had, including the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. She owns that record. That's all Donald Trump has to talk about. The rest will take care of itself. Now, if you realize that, the first thing you're going to notice is he says this, the three eyes immigration we know how immigration in the migrant crisis destroyed a lot of things that's just actually true everybody hates the migrant crisis caused by joseph biden and also kamala harris if you look at big cities like new york city and chicago and boston and denver those places were overrun even people on the left hated that right so that's definitely true inflation well he, he mentioned it this inflation reduction act spent trillions of dollars that caused inflation then incompetence. She stood side by side with Joe Biden on every foreign policy disaster, including the disastrous withdrawal 
from Afghanistan. She owns that record. Now, it was nothing in that statement that talked about race, that talked about inferiority, any of that. And you guys know I'm a pro-black, right? None of that was discussed. But I want you to hear what the response is from this lady, Ashley Allison. She's not incompetent, okay? Like, you don't become the attorney general of California. Or a U.S. Senator. senator. Or the vice president of the United States. By calling her incompetent, you're calling they, they, the 81 million people who voted for her incompetent no, they, as they, well. They, that they, is, but, but let me just say this. That is what we're talking about. There is a way to attack her record on policy without calling her a name. Incompetent is, a, it is an unflattering name. And when people do that to black women, that is what Van is talking about. You might not agree, but as a black woman, let me tell you how we hear it. And then look at who backs her up. Well, you know who disagrees are the voters. The voters right now believe the Biden-Harris administration is one of the most incompetent administrations in American history. That's not me. That's the voters right now. They're not just saying about the vice president. They're saying about everyone in the administration right now. Let me get Van to respond to that. Go ahead, Van. Well, I, I agree with, with Ashley. Look, we, we're gonna have to learn how to talk to each other. There's certain there's certain things that if you there, there's a way there's a smart way and a dumb way to do anything. It's a very dumb way to uh, after 400 years of this mistreatment of black people and black women to say you're incompetent. That maybe that makes sense to you in your world, and you wouldn't take it that personally. But that has been the slur. That has been the core. That we are not worthy. We're not as smart. We're not as good. We can't do stuff. And so when you have someone who's overcome all of that again and again and again and again, and that's the word you pick, incompetent, I'm just going to tell you, it's not going to work as well for you as you think it. And what you're going to wind up doing is getting a lot of people who are not going to vote, who really did not care, who were, who were sick of all of it. People are going to crawl through broken glass to vote against a party who says that about a black woman. Pick another word. Don't pick that one. Pick, button this up for us, David. So you, you guys heard this, right? Now we have Van Jones trying to get a racial pity party. Oh, you gotta learn how you talk to black women. And I'm glad that the guy, and I hate to say this, but you have this white Republican guy, Matt Mowers, who plays it cool because he understands this is a racial bait setup. And really what this shows the American public is that Kamala Harris is not willing to debate these issues because it's gonna be a tactic to make it a racial play. So now when Kamala Harris makes some mistakes or creates some mistakes as any leader of the of a country would do, now they're gonna try to tie everything into race. So incompetence is going to be, oh, you're, you're making it a black thing. No, incompetence is not based on race. They're talking about behaviors in which she's making mistakes. So now white people, if they're looking at this, they should understand that they're gonna create a Tiffany Henyard sort of situation. What do I mean? A lot of people, when Tiffany Henry won the Democratic nomination for the village of Dalton, they had no idea that they were not going to be able to criticize her with the mistakes that she was making. Kamala Harris, if she's able to use the black woman trope, then the opposition can't criticize. If you say incompetence, which is a word for all human beings, they can come back and say, well, uh, that's racist. In fact, this is the same argument Trump had with the Biden administration. He's just tying her to the level of incompetence that Biden clearly showed. Now, Van Jones says, Sam, did it? Oh, we've been under 400 years of slavery. You gotta like how you talk to call somebody stupid. He's not calling anybody stupid. And I wish he kind of would have stuck up for himself a little bit there because again, all of these people that participate in democratic black leadership, they're always gonna use this as an example. You want to be the president of a country that is multicultural. You just don't want the accountability that's multicultural. And that's the problem here. When are you guys gonna be adults? And if they let Kamala Harris be president or if she's voted in president, whenever she makes mistakes, she's not gonna be able to be criticized. And this is probably one of the reasons why they wanted to get Joe Biden out of there. As a white man who is privileged, Joe Biden can be called incompetent. Kamala Harris will not be able to be called incompetent because every time they come with a good criticism, they're gonna turn around and make it a racialized thing. Try to make Republicans seem like they're racist and they very well may be racist, but that wasn't racist. That's dealing with an argument. It's dealing with the behavior. It's dealing with a concept. And this is a play that they're gonna always continue to use anytime Kamala Harris does this and that. And again, 
Kamala Harris is married to a white man. So could her white man be called incompetent? Sure. But a black woman can't be called incompetent or a black man be called incompetent. Because if Obama was in office and somebody called him a black man incompetence, Van Jones would not have responded like that. But it's the protect black women thing. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of black women are going to support Kamala Harris. And the reason why they're going to do that is because they don't want the criticism. It's going to be illegal to criticize them. This is why a lot of people have to look at the verbiage you use now to talk about black women. And you need to preface this. You know, let's say if you see the three eyes, listen, this is not about race. I'm dealing with a behavior. Incompetence is what the Biden administration dealt with. This was not about race or color. She was in the Biden administration and the thing I said, nothing about race or color. We're dealing with incompetence as a subject and then shut Van Jones and Ashley Allison down, period. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. I'm out.